Then came the explosion. Roughly 70,000 years ago, sapiens suddenly spread all over the world. But when Homo sapiens left Africa, most of Eurasia was already home to other human species. So what happened to them? There are two conflicting theories. The interbreeding theory, a wonderful story of attraction, sex, and mingling. Homo sapiens are African immigrants who spread all over the world fraternizing with other human populations. Present day humans are the result of this melting pot. When sapiens reached Europe and the Middle East, they met the Neanderthals. Neanderthals are often caricatured as archetypal, brutish, stupid cave people, but recent evidence has changed their image. You built your brand on brute force for 200 years. Wake up call. This is the 21st century. How about softening the image a bit? Yes, that works for us. We never really like dragging females around by the hair. We're both gay anyway. Archaeologists have discovered the bones of Neanderthals who lived for many years with physical handicaps. Clearly, Neanderthals cared for their sick and disabled. According to the interbreeding theory, when sapiens spread into Neanderthal lands, they interbred until the two populations merged. If this is the case, today's Eurasians are not pure sapiens, but a blend of sapiens and Neanderthals. Similarly, when sapiens reached East Asia, they interbred with the local Erectus, so some modern people are a mixture of sapiens and Erectus. Did you see Diana's new boyfriend? A regular Neanderthal, like totally. The Replacement Theory A terrible story of incompatibility, revulsion, and genocide. This theory stresses that sapiens were anatomically different from other humans and most likely had different mating habits, even different body odors. They would have had little sexual interest in each other. Even if a Neanderthal Romeo and a sapiens Juliet fell in love, they couldn't produce fertile children because the genetic gulf separating their two populations was already unbridgeable. The two populations remained completely distinct and when the Neanderthals died out or were killed off, their genes died with them. According to this theory, sapiens replaced all previous human populations with no interbreeding. If that's the case, all contemporary humans can be traced back exclusively to East Africa 70,000 years ago. We're all pure sapiens.